G'day, I'm Lorne from Darchi, and today we're here to introduce our Basecamp 2200 rooftop tent. So this is a fairly massive soft top rooftop tent. This comes with all the fitting hardware you're going to need to attach this to your roof racks in the box. If you're not confident in doing this yourself, we do recommend taking this to a four-wheel drive fitter. So the first thing we've done here is just parked on some nice level ground to get started. And from there, we'll just jump straight into the setup. So the first thing you're going to need to do is just release your transit cover straps. Just chuck them out of the way. Next, just find the corner of the tent where the zip is. That'll be either at the front or the back, depending on which way it's facing. Undo the little Velcro strap on the corner there, and just release the zip all the way around the transit cover. And you'll find that you need to come back around to the front of the tent here, just to grab the zip and finish off that last little bit there. So the zip will completely detach between the transit cover and the skirt, and you should be able to just grab the transit cover and slide it back off the tent like that. Now you can either leave that hanging there if you like, if it's not in the way, otherwise you can just slide the whole thing out, just grab it and pull out of the track. And just chuck that to the side there. The next thing you're going to need to do is release the side straps on the tent. So there's one at each end, one at the back here is nice and easy to get to, and then one up at the front. Now they're both released, we can next release the ladder straps. Just extend the ladders out far enough that you'll be able to grab them from the other side. Just push those across. And back around at the front here, I'm going to grab both ladders, extend them all the way out, and then we just use those to lever the tent open. Just like that. So once your tent's open, you're going to unlock the top steps on the ladder, the button under the rung there to allow the baseboard to drop down and level out. And make sure these are all locked in nicely. And you just want to make sure the baseboard's sitting as flat as you can get it. Right, so now the tent's open, the ladders are in place. The next step is to adjust your canopy hoop here. Just to hold your canopy and your fly over the front of the tent. So that just folds out like that. And on the other side as well. And then we're just going to secure that in place with the little pin locks. And just slot both of those into place. Next we're going to stick this little trigger lock canopy pole in place inside. So this is just to hold a bit of tension on the canopy and that clips onto the internal frame inside the actual tent. And then the other end just clips to the canopy frame right at the front there. All right, so here we're just going to add the window stays in on the side. So we'll open the mesh. Down here you've got couple little toggles that are holding that window canopy closed. If you don't want to open the window, you can just leave it like that. You don't have to put the window stays in. Just pull that little toggle out there. One on the other side. And then here, I'm going to stick the window stays in. Just carefully hanging out the window. Stick them into the holes on the board. And just hook the top into the eyelet on the canopy there. All right. Here you'll notice we've got a nice little integrated LED strip from the top of the tent. So it's just a just a white LED light, um, USB cable there, and there you go. You've also got here in the top of the tent a couple of zippered skylights. So if we open one of those up and roll it back, you'll see that we've also got a clear window in the top of the fly allow a bit of light through, you'll be able to see the stars at night as well. And then exactly the same idea with the window stays at the back here. You've still got the little slot in the skirt around the bottom of the tent to stick them through. You've just got three here rather than two just to support this longer span of flight. So one there, one in the center. Now back down at the front of the tent, we're pretty much finished now. The last step is just to attach some guy ropes to the front of that canopy just to hold it all in place if you get any wind. One in the center, put that one on there. One right in the center between the two ladders. If you sort of walk this back in between the feet of the two ladders, hopefully you won't trip over it. Bit of tension on that one as well. And that's it. So now you're fully set up. The next thing we need to do is show you how to pack it all away. So to begin with, we're just gonna pull these pegs out at the front for the canopy guy ropes that. We'll unhook those off the front of the tent, which makes it a little bit easier to 
pack up with that guy ropes hanging out the back. And then your next step is gonna to be to jump into the tent, pull out your canopy tension pole from the front. And we just leave that sitting on the back half of the tent. There is a pole bag in there as well if you wanna keep them neat. Just throw them on the back of the tent, you'll be sweet. And we're gonna pull out all these window stays. So again, just lean it out the window from the inside to pull those out. It's the easiest way. We'll secure those canopies back down to the little toggles as well. That just helps prevent them from hanging out the side of the tent when you close it. We're now just gonna pull the pin locks out of the canopy hoop so that we can fold that back in. And fold that canopy in like that. Try and tuck the fly up inside like that and the canopy. That's all the window stays and everything pulled out. So the next step is to fold it over. So we're gonna use the two ladders again, just to fold it up and over, like that. And then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just pull down the corner of the tent and whack these side straps back on. Just pull down the corner of the tent there, whack these side straps back on. A little bit of tension on those just to hold everything closed. And to fold your ladders back in, you just want to grab the two little buttons on the very bottom rung, and push those in and push the whole thing up. Like that. Same thing on the other side. Just push those back as far as you can reach there and then we'll finish them off from the other side. Pop up at the back there. Just fold the ladder all the way down. Watch your fingers. And do up the straps just to hold those in place. So you're now ready to grab your transit cover. And just slot that back into the cell track channel on the front of the tent. So once you've got your transit cover slotted back on, just before we flip that over the tent and try to zip it up, I'm just gonna come around and just check that this little canvas skirt on the bottom of the tent is not interfering with the zip run, run anywhere. So we're just gonna fold that back up over those back corners. Now, grab the transit cover in the center. You've got two people with you, you can do this one on each side, but if you're on your own, you just bunch it up a bit in the center and just chuck it up on top of the tent like that. And then you can come around, find your corners and spread it out. So we're just gonna pull corners down over the tent, just make sure it's all sitting nice and evenly before we try to zip it up. All right, so once we've now got that cover sitting nice and evenly all around the tent, just like that. I'm gonna go back to the front and hook that zip back together with the sail track skirt on the bottom. So just tuck your canvas up out of the way under the cover and slot that zip back together there. Push the zip along as far as you can on this end and then just pick it up again from the other side. So very important as you go around doing up your zip just to make sure you keep your free hand underneath the cover and holding all the canvas clear of that zip run so it doesn't get snagged. Worth just taking your time with this, just making sure it's all going on correctly and nothing's getting snagged in the zip. If you do happen to snag some canvas in it, if you catch it early enough, you should be able to back it off. Right up to the front and then these little Velcro straps can go back on as well. And now we just need to throw our transit cover straps over the top, secure them from the other side and we'll be ready to take off. Worth just folding this skirt down over, make sure it's cover, covering the zip as well, just to prevent any rain from driving in there as you're driving along. But with those cover straps over and secured, we're ready to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your next camping trip with your Base Camp 2210.